What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. It's been a little while since I've uploaded, been busy with things, but trying to get back into it, um, not much has changed, same old type of content. Today talking about some creative, cheeky uses of the Stone Slammer. I've been seeing a lot of these lately, one to get it out in a video. I've covered this a little bit before, but this is going to give you guys some more in-depth analysis of it when you want to use these types of Stone Slammer techniques. First attack is using the Stone Slammer instead of the Battle Blimp for the Electron attack. And you might notice, okay, if we want to use the Electron here with Queen, Inferno, CC, uh, it checks out. There's Air Defense, Wizard Tower, good value in the area. Um, you might think, okay, we'll use the Battle Blimp because the Town Hall set up there. Drop the Battle Blimp up by the Elixir Storage or the Cannon and deploy it on top of the Inferno Queen area. You can do that. But what the attacker realizes is the Stone Slammer is actually going to get more value. And you're thinking, well, wait, there's an air defense. What, what's going to happen here? Um, the Stone Slammer has enough hit points to, especially with a few balloons to tank and soak up some seeking air mines, it has enough hit points to take out the important uh, defenses along the way and then get the Electro Dragon far enough to, uh, to actually get the successful Electron part of the attack. And you'll notice the Queen, the CC, they pull the Electro Dragon in. If the Queen wasn't there for some reason, and most of the time she is for this type of attack, but if the Queen wasn't there, but he was doing the Electron thing anyway, then it might have made a little more sense um, to use this, the uh, Battle Blimp because there'd be nothing to pull the Electro Dragon in. But in this case, it works out fine because all that needs to happen is for that Electro Dragon just to get... Um, within range of the queen and the rest will just happen based on the aggro um, of the queen of the CC troops and the value is pretty good. Um, I think just one clone spell was used, that's all that was really needed there. Then gets good value from the heroes. I think that witch eh, it might die, might not. Um, but not a big deal for the La Loon attack. So just coming in here all angles with hounds and loons, hasting these guys along in and there's just not that much base left up. Getting rid of all these air defenses at the beginning. So there's going to be leftover hounds for sure um, as this attack kind of goes through. But this is a great use for the Stone Slammer. And I think we'll see one more attack of it uh, today. Is utilizing it in, in place of the Battle Blimp uh, as, a, as a way to get the Electro Dragon to where you need it to go. And it won't work all the time. If you want to get the E-Drag really far into the base... You're going to have to use the Battle Blimp. It's quicker. It's not going to stop for defenses along the way. Um, but there's more value to be gotten if you use the Stone Slammer because it actually takes out defenses along the way. In this case, it got an air defense taken out, which otherwise may have stayed up and taken out those balloons and the E-Drag itself. So keep that in mind. Um, we will fast forward as cleanup finishes up here. Has the Warden's ability in the bag to swag. So uses it on those pups right there. Uh, nice job to Boss Omang, 1973. All right, we'll fast forward and move on to the next one. Um, this next one's actually my attack. I was thinking about doing a live attack, but just didn't end up doing it. <clears throat> Wish I did now that it ended up three-starring, but oh well. Um, this is nothing that's that new, but I wanted to include at least one attack that showed the, uh, the um, Stone Slammer being used as part of a queen charge because it's such a big use of it these days it's worth showing and talking about a little bit in any video that talks about the stone slammer so in this case um you can see town hall being where it is you can't really use the wall wrecker but this is a good angle for a queen charge a lot of value the eagle queen cc defensive value um no single infernos in the way so a bit of a costly funnel having to use the balloons there but it was worth it to get all that taken out and then the Stone Slammer, one thing that's great is if you have a skinny compartment that just has one like layer of buildings, these 3x3s three three in it, the Stone Slammer goes up to a defense and not only opens up the first layer of walls, but also that second layer. So the Stone Slammer, while it cannot push as far as the wall wrecker usually, um, it will get you a guaranteed two layers as long as it gets one drop off on, um, on the defense in that first layer. I elected to put balloons in it. A little bit questionable now that I think about it. Uh, got a bomb tower. Doesn't even get that expo over there. I'm kind of back and forth. You can put Valks in it. I think Valks get more value if they're under rage for sure. And I wasn't sure I wanted to use a rage there. But um, 
it depends. Ice golems are good. Valks are good. Balloons can be good. Um, all things that you can consider based on the, the situation, putting in your stone slammer. Um, use the ability right there. Take out the eagle. I got it just as the top was coming off. It was about to start firing. It got destroyed. And then right here, the queen's actually going to stay up for, I think, pretty much the entire attack. Not quite the entire attack, but she will get the expo taken out. This was a four healer queen walk, mind you. You don't always have to bring five. Uh, four can sometimes be a lot better if you're not going to be dealing with that many defenses. Um, or if you know you're going to have to use a rage anyway at some point. Four rage healers versus five rage healers. Typically, there's no difference there. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, the queen moves around the outside. She'll stay up for a little bit longer. But the miners will just push through here. Plenty of heals and just not that many defenses. Mostly air defenses, some storages. No, like, big wizard tower expo farms or anything that can tend to be an issue. Um, and the king himself will get distracted on the queen. So we'll go ahead and go times two as the miners move through. Just dropping the heal spells. Typical stuff. Um, the queen does go down right here to the defensive king. The healers will switch over onto the miners. And uh, that will pretty much do it for this one. Not my plan. I, I, this was a cleanup of another attack. I just made a few tweaks and uh, prevented it from being a time fail. All right. Uh, let's see. We got some Town Hall 10 action to take a look at. I, uh, we did have one 12v12 that I, I, I would show, but it didn't really use a stone slammer, which kind of you know doesn't fit the theme of today's video. So um, well, before I show too much... You guys know these types of bases. They put the heroes way off to the side, and they have a bunch of walls around it. Uh, very, very common base. See it at Town Hall 10 and 11, mostly. Uh, but the idea is basically you have the Town Hall, and then you have the uh, King and the Queen. It's making it so if you want to use like a wall wreck or a big kill squad on the left, you have to get really far if you want to get the heroes taken out. That's the idea. Um, and it has these walls, so it's like, okay, hey, you can't really do much here because there's all these walls blocking you. But that's when the Stone Slammer can be used very effectively. Um, if there's a defense that can be uh, targeted by the Stone Slammer that is kind of situated right in the middle of these walls, wink, wink, the Archer Towers, then the Stone Slammer just has to get one drop off, and it basically, it's like an earthquake spell. If It's like you drop four earthquakes. It just opens the entire thing up. Very, very cheap trade then to use your heroes to take out the defensive heroes. And from there, you know, you can laloon it, you can hog it, um, you have options. So actually hits a Seeking Air Mine, but it doesn't even matter because it's not that far. There's no air defenses. Um, a little bit close actually on that drop. For some reason it hesitated, it did like a misfire, which was really weird. Um, but check this out. Actually, I think I misspoke. The heroes weren't even used to take out the defensive heroes, just used the Valks in a rage. So this is just a straight up assassin assassination on the heroes, um, using the Stone Slammer to get in there. Uh, I guess in this case, I should correct myself a little bit, I, I kind of misspoke. The It didn't matter that the walls got opened up. What mattered was the Valks got dropped there, and that's something the other two siege machines can't do, obviously, because the Town Hall can't be used as leverage on the other side to push it through. So the Stone Slammer will target uh, defenses that are closest to it. And one Rage plus those maxed Valks takes out both heroes. Also got like a Scaly Trap, lures the CC, then uses the heroes um, just kind of where needed. Gets a Bomb Tower, Wizard Tower as part of it, I believe. Um, so good value in terms of a Hog Attack. I like the Baby Dragon, by the way. Tank the uh, Dragon, get damage on it. Don't make the heroes deal with everything. It'll also help with the Witch, which will inev inevitably invoke... I can't talk today. Avoid the poison spell, um, as the witches always seem to do. So the queen will take out these defenses, get good value, and then here comes a few balloons. I'm not sure what the purpose of the balloons was. Could just use more hogs. But anyway, everything coming through and has a bunch of heal spells for these hogs. Four heals, I guess. Didn't quite have the fifth because of the rage for the Valks. Um, queen is still alive, getting some value. I believe she will stay up long enough to help with cleanup. And the hogs just moving through, not a whole lot that can really hurt them. I mean, the heroes have been taken out, CC is gone, and I think a skelly trap gone as well. The queen does go down, but luckily there's going to be enough cleanup down to, to uh, finish off the base here. So mass hog attack, things tend to get a little bit whack. There's a bunch of defenses left up at the top, not a bunch, a couple, um, but has one uh, additional heal spell. And uh, Anna, I'm not, I don't want to say he, uh, probably she. We'll drop the uh, the heel to cover that last giant bomb there that's going to be between the Tesla cannon 
a few balloons to finish off the Tesla. I think that was the purpose of the balloons, um, to kind of finish off some of these buildings that were hiding the giant bombs. Oh, shout out to my Patreon. Um, that was not an intentional notification, but that was for the Attacking Advice channel, one of the perks you can get if you sign up on Patreon. So guess that will throw a plug in there. Uh, but anyway, very nice attack to Anna, and we will move on and take a look at one more before we wrap up this video. All right. Um, number 24... Okay, so this is another one of those electron attacks using the stone slammer. And once again, I like it. Um, now, there is an air defense, but especially at Town Hall 10, it's not doing that much damage. And once again, the queen's going to pull that E-Dragon in, so there's no worry about it kind of staying on the outside and targeting like these DE drills or something. He knows that the CC, the queen, something's going to pull the E-Dragon in. So it really doesn't have to get that far. But he wants to make sure that there's no defenses left up kind of, you know, towards the outside. You want to get the entire side of the base taken out, not just like the inside of it, and leave up some awkward defenses. That e drag got some great value at the end of its life there. It took out the witch. It got like a bunch of splash, a bunch of like electricity bounces or whatever you call them over here. Um, so great, great value there. But once again... Good use of the stone slammer. And you'll notice the town hall down here. So in this case, the battle blimp wasn't even on the table. Um, so you guys should be thinking defensively as well. You want to make sure that in these lo locations where, even if you have an air defense, but there's potentially good value for like this type of electron with the stone slammer, you want to make sure you have seeking air mines or potentially a Tesla to lead the pathing of it astray. That might even be a better defense uh, of this technique is to kind of position a Tesla to, to pop. Maybe it leads into a mortar that leads the stone slammer around the outside and away from your queen and potentially some valuable buildings in there. So here's the Lalo, um, pretty typical. Doesn't have a ton of spells because of the clone spell usage and the rage, but has a ton of troop space. Hound is still up, a uh, bunch of balloons, and the haste's kind of helping it through, avoiding the wizard towers. And by the way, when you're deploying your balloons and your laloon on the back end of the base, that is what you're trying to avoid, is getting a bunch of splash damage on your balloons. Because you know you have a you have more troop space than you typically would for that amount of base left up. So you don't have to worry about the lava hounds popping or the balloons getting shot down by air defenses too quickly. Your main concern should be wizard towers, because you don't have many spells. So you don't want to get caught in a situation where the balloons are moving through at like glacial speed. Meanwhile, the wizard towers are just kind of raining in splash damage on them. So you want to use the hastes as they start to approach the wizard towers to haste them into the wizard towers or multi-infernos. I mean, they're kind of the same effect. Um, preventing the time they're going to be taking that area DPS, that splash damage, which is what will really ruin one of these attacks. So keep that in mind for your um, electron attacks. That'll do it for today's videos. Uh, hope you hope you guys learned something. I guess I'm rusty. I can't talk tonight. Um, it's been too long since I made a video. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time. Bisectatron out.